Hi there, welcome to the first of a mini series on all about club head design. I'm here at the K2 Leisure Centre. Behind me you can see our ultra fast putting green surface that we use on occasion um, when we're doing putter fittings. But I'm going to talk about club head design today, in particular irons. And the first thing we're going to talk about is sole design, which is why I'm showing you four different um, iron models here. Um, as you can see, just uh, as a first visual there, there's, there's quite a variety in differences in sole. And, and the sole is one of the first things, if I'm assessing a player um, and I'm watching them swing, one of the first considerations I'm giving to, um, you know, deciding which clubs to test with, which ones are going to be appropriate, the sole shape, contour, the sole design is one of the first things I'll consider. It will affect a player's ability to strike the ball cleanly and solidly. It will affect a player's um, perception of feel if they make contact with the ground as they strike the ball um, and also the actual result of the shot it also be, will be affected by the sole design and it will also affect a, a player's ability to shape the shot lift, um, left to right on a fade, um, right to left on a draw or even if they're just trying to hit it straight the sole plays a big big part of it amongst many many other things so um, that's the first thing that's one of the things I'm considering before we even start testing the golf club like grip is the only part of the club that you have contact with the sole of the club is the only part of the club that will make contact with the ground and it's a very important element to consider. Features of your swing that are unique to you such as club head speed, um, weight of impact, angle of attack so whether you're actually swinging down into the ball or you're more shallow um, and also the path of the club all play a part in selecting a great sole design um, that will work for you. One of the really interesting things for me is I, I mean I have a, a um, a spread of choice okay I've got choices of sole design all the way across the brands um, I've got four different brands here we've got the Mizuno hot metal we've got the ping g410 okay we've got the Callaway apex and we've got the Strixon 585 and it's really interesting just to note the sole design themselves what have the designers of these brands done and why and it, it includes things like um, the length of the sole, okay, so how long is it from heel to toe, okay, you'll see differences in all these clubs when you look a little bit more closely. Um, it includes the width, okay, so from front to back, how wide is the sole, as well as the width it also includes things like the, um, the camber of the sole, okay, so how does it actually, how does it curve in this direction, okay, where does it curve, how much does it curve, the camber of the sole and also the radius, the radius goes from heel to toe and how much curvature is in there. That affects things like um, solidness of contact, it affects how you get through the turf, whether it's through rough or on the fairway and things like that. It also includes the bounce measurement, which you'll have probably heard about, which is the difference between the leading edge and the back edge, okay? That angle created between there and there either creates more bounce or less dig or less bounce and therefore more likely to dig but a sharper contact and a sharper turf interaction. So when a player needs a certain type of sole feature, whether it be width, um, whether it be length, whether it be the camber, whether it be the bounce on the sole, certain models spring to mind that have the feature that I want them to have on it. So it becomes less of a brand thing and more of a model choice. So it's not a you're a pin guy, it's more of a you're a wide sole guy, yeah? Or you need a little bit more bounce or a little bit less bounce um, and therefore you know, you need either, you know, the, the Callaway, um, the new Callaway Apex, or maybe the, the Strixon 585 has really effective um, sole shape because it's got, it's got the width there, but actually they've pressed or forged this crease in there, which actually means that you're only really using the width of the sole when you actually need it. So all these sorts of things spring to mind, and it's really important to actually make, you know, it's great to have that choice there across the brands and therefore multiple models in order to select a great sole choice for you. So the next time you're testing clubs um, or you're in the shop and just looking, just make, just make sure that you observe, at least observe the differences in the sole, the clubs that you're trying, okay? Because that will play a big part in how the club feels to you. So if you know that sole has slightly, is a little bit wider or a little bit thinner, you know, and you get a certain feedback, you'll be aware that the sole is playing a big part in that. So for example, if the sole is a little bit wider, um, one of the things it can do, it can actually help you stabilise the club through impact, especially if you're contacting the ground. Um, it can help you get the meat of the, of the club face into the back of the ball and down to the bottom of the golf ball. 
but it will also be in wider, it tends to dampen vibration and it tends to, the feedback you get is desensitized in some way. You don't get the same sort of feedback, quality of feedback as you would get with a thinner sole. So when you hit a thinner sole, you might get um, a slightly sh sharper turf interaction and um, a little bit more feedback. You might be a little bit more aware of when you're striking it a bit too clean or a little bit towards the toe, a little bit towards the heel. Um, a thinner sole gives you better feedback, but it can be more punishing if you do catch the ground a little bit before the ball. Um, or if you're quite steep and you're cutting into the turf a little bit too much, slowing the club head speed down, um, taking big divots and so forth. So um, yeah, just be aware of it. Factor it into your thinking um, and make sure you understand you know, the sort of feedback you're getting. Part of that is to do with the sole, all right? So we will cover other aspects of club head design in one of the next videos. I hope that's been helpful. I'll speak to you soon.